Good morning, praying parents. May the Lord bless you this day and every day. Listen, the blessing of the Lord is yours. The blessing of the Lord is for your children and your grandchildren, for your household. God will never curse you. He blesses his own. You are his own and you are blessed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's give him praise this morning. He is worthy of our praise and the glory. I want you to pray and say, blessed are you, Lord God of Israel, our father forever and ever. Blessed, blessed are you. Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Bless him right now. Say, Father, I bless you. According to 1 Chronicles 29, verse 10, blessed are you, Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. I bless you forever and ever. Bless him right now. Bless him right now. Bless him right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you this morning. We praise you this day. We magnify your holy name. Blessed are you. Blessed are you, almighty God in Jesus' mighty name. For yours, O Lord, is the greatness. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power and the glory. Yes, Lord, the victory and the majesty. Hallelujah, bless his holy name. Oh yes, tell him this morning, yours, oh Lord, is the greatness. God is greater than anything you can imagine. Tell him this morning, yours, oh Lord, is the greatness. Yours, oh Lord, is the greatness, the power and the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the victory and the majesty. Yes, Lord Jesus, for all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. All that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord. We praise you, we worship you, we magnify your holy name, we exalt you, O God, for you are a good God. Thank him, thank him right now. Say, Father, I thank you. I give you praise. I worship you. You are exalted as head over all. I bless your holy name. I magnify your holy name. Mazemare magazaka tala makaraba kaseke. Rebeke shaka tala makale makaraba gazeke. Le braza gate le makaraba kashaka tala makale bakaraba baba. Ereba zendele megaraba gazeke tele mama. Say Lord, I praise your name, O God. Le barama kashaka tala makare bagazeke tala baba. Ela bakala makasaka tala baba. Eke la makaraba kaseke. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you. Are exalted as head over all. You are exalted as head over all. Mazabaka talamaka sheke talababa. You are the head over all things. You are the head of our families. I want you to thank the Lord right now and say, Father, you are exalted as head over all. You are exalted as head over my family, over my children, over my home. You are exalted, oh God, as head over all. Lebaka talamaka sheke. I exalt you as head over all my family, over all my children, over my life. I exalt you as head over my marriage. Praise him, praise him. Mandala makareba kaseki le braza gata la makaze le braba gaza gata la makaye la makaseki le brama zagata la makala bakaraba kaseki say father i give you praise i give you glory yes lord both riches and honor come from you both riches and honor come from you and you reign over all you reign over all you reign over all in your hand is power and might oh thank Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. Oh, I thank you, Jesus. I praise your glorious name. I praise your glorious name. I praise your glorious name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we bless your name, O oh God. Father, we magnify your name. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, praying parents. You know, praise looks good on him. He's a very, very good God. Listen, it doesn't matter how difficult that battle is. It is won in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Ah, the Lord has given me a word for you this morning. And he spoke to me. He said, I want you to pray that your family every member, your children, your grandchildren, when they sin, they will be convicted of sin. They will be convicted of sin. It is sin that leads to hell. It is life in Christ Jesus that leads to eternity. And the Lord is telling me, oh yes, the world is filled with sin. Your children will not be contaminated with the sin of this world. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he says, pray for conviction of sin. Come with me. To John chapter 16. Yes, Lord. John chapter 16. Verse 7. It says, nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. This is Jesus speaking. For I do not go away. For if I do not go away. He said, for if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. So Jesus is bringing the helper into our world because he's now about to depart to present himself to the father in heaven. Verse eight. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Yes. So we want to pray right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, that the Holy Spirit will convict our children of sin. When they sin, they will have no rest until they repent. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, I want you to pray this morning and say, Lord Jesus, convict my children of sin by the power of your Holy Spirit. Convict my children when they sin, convict them of sin. Yeah, give them no peace until they they have repented in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for those children right now. Yes, Lord. Lord, convict my children of sin in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them not be conformed to the ways of this world. Anytime they sin, convict them of, con convict them of sin. Let them have no peace until they have repented. Yeah, that's a good prayer. Let them have no peace until they have repented. Let them not walk in sin, oh God. Let them not be conformed to the ways of this world, this sinful evil world. I want you to pray and say, Father, let my children not be contaminated with sin. When they sin, let your Holy Spirit convict them of sin. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, Lord, convict my children of sin yeah, by the power of your Holy Spirit. Anytime they sin, oh God, convict them of sin, convict them of sin, convict them of sin. Let them have no, no peace until they have repented of that sin. In the mighty name of Jesus, Yes, Lord, thank you for the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I want you to thank the Lord right now because this is the ministry of the Holy Spirit uh, that he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. 
Father, thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I thank you, Almighty God. Yes, Lord. Thank the Lord right now. Thank the Lord right now for the presence of the Holy Spirit, for the work of the Holy Spirit in your children's lives. Say, Father, I thank you for the work of the Holy Spirit in the lives of my children, in the lives of my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. And in one, Father God, in my home, in my family, in my children. Yes, Lord, in my grandchildren in the name of Jesus. They will not walk on the corridors of hell. They will not be conformed to the ways of this world. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, almighty God, that the presence and the work of the Holy Spirit will help them to walk in righteousness, in truth, in peace, in joy. Father God, in alignment with your word, in the name of Jesus, Yes, Lord. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. You know, when the Holy Spirit comes into a man's heart and he's convicted them, he's bringing light into darkness. He's bringing light into darkness. I want you to pray and say, Father, bring your light into my children's darkness. If there's any area of their lives, of my family that is dark, bring the light of your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Bazabara. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name we're praying. Amen. The Bible says, and when he has come, he will convict. He will convict to convict him. Ha, hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We magnify your holy name, O oh God. Yes, Lord. He will convict of sin. You see, he will show them the truth about themselves. That is conviction. You will see who you are. The Holy Spirit will reflect and show you that this way, the way you are, is not God, I want you to change. And he will bring them into righteousness, the truth about God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. So, Father, we just thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You know what it means to convict? To convict means to expose, to refute, to convince the Lord by the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit will expose darkness in your children, in your family, in the mighty in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray and say, Father, expose every darkness in my children and my grandchildren's lives so that they can repent. Expose that darkness in the name of Jesus. Let them not be comfortable with the works of darkness. With friends that walk in darkness. With attitudes of darkness. Let your light expose darkness darkness in their lives, in my children's lives, in my family, in my husband, in my wife. Convict of sin, oh God. Convict of sin in my family. Convict of sin, oh God. In the name of Jesus and bring your truth, oh God. Holy Spirit, do your work in my family. Do your work in my family. Do your work in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. Do your work in my family. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praying parents, I want you to pray. That Lord, if my children are deceived, oh, convict them in Jesus' mighty name. If they are deceived, convict them in Jesus' name. If they are getting drunk, walking with unfriendly friends, convict them in Jesus' name. If they are walking on the corridors of hell, convict them in Jesus' name name. If they're walking in darkness, convict them in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, do your work of conviction in my family, in my home, in the name of Jesus. I pray this prayer for my entire family. Pray it right now for your entire family. And say, Holy Spirit, I ask that you will convict my family of sin and bring your truth so that we walk in righteousness and truth in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Convict my children, oh God. Awaken my family. Bring your revival into my home. Bring your revival into my children's lives. Bring your revival into my family. Let there be a revival in my family. Let there be a revival in my family. Let there be a revival in my home. Rebazegetele magazagatela baba. La barabagazeki, 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 la barabagazegata la bagazeki, le barabagazegata la baba, le barabagazegata la baba, le barabagazegata la bakaseke la baba, reke sakatolo makayala makaseke. In Jesus mighty name. We pray. Amen. 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 In verse 7, the Bible says, uh, it is to your advantage that I go away. This is Jesus. He says, for if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. I want you to thank God for your helper. Thank God for your helper. His name is the Holy Spirit. Thank God for the ministry of the Holy Spirit upon your family. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for your help, for our helper, for my family's helper, the Holy Spirit. I thank you for my helper, my family's helper, my children's helper. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping my family, for helping my children. In the name of Jesus, set my family up. Blaze, set my children's hearts ablaze, set them on fire for you, O God. Let there be a great awakening in my family, a revival in my family, the fire of the Holy Spirit in our hearts, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Praying parents, it is the Holy Spirit that will tell your family. The Holy Spirit will tell your family the importance. He will tell your children and every member of your family the importance of trusting in and relying on and clinging to Jesus. Jesus and clinging to Jesus. Why do we need to cling to Jesus so that we can avoid sin? So that we can avoid sin. I want you to pray. Father, help my children to avoid sin in this world. Help my family to avoid sin and to walk in righteousness. Help us to avoid sin and to walk in righteousness. My children will avoid sin. My grandchildren will avoid sin and walk in righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, help my children to avoid sin. Pray for yourself as well. Lord, help me to avoid sin. Let my children avoid sin. Help us, O God. Let my husband avoid sin. Help my husband to avoid sin. Help my wife to avoid sin. Help my children to avoid sin. Help my grandchildren to avoid sin. Help me to avoid sin. Help my family to avoid sin. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tolo makasha katala makaseki le braka tala makaraba kaseki la baka tala makaraba kaseki le baraba kasha katala makaraba kaseki. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. In Jesus' mighty name, we're praying. Amen. Amen and amen. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you praise, oh God. Hey, yes, Lord. We thank you, almighty God. I want you to begin to thank the Lord right now. Thank him for this week. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. We're heading now towards April. I want you to begin to thank the Lord for the rest of this month and say, Father, I thank you for the rest of this month. I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as we approach April. I plead the blood of Jesus, Father, upon every day left in this month. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mazama katolo makayela makaseki. La bakatala makaseki. La bakatala makaseki. La bakatala makarabakaseki. I want you to pray and say Father, we will not hear bad news in the mighty name of Jesus as we enter into April, as we go towards the end of this month. We will not hear bad news. We will not hear bad news. We will not end this month in bad news. We will not begin next 
month were bad news in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind bad news. We bind accidents. We bind calamity. We bind destruction. Let your will be done for the rest of this month, for the next month, oh God. Let your will be done. We bind the spirit of the Antichrist operating, Father God. Yes, Lord, we bind it from operating. Yes, Lord, in our lives, in our families. Yes, Lord, in our months, Father. Yes, Lord, the rest of this month and next month, oh God. We bind for the rest of this year and every day of our lives. We bind the spirit of the Antichrist operating in the world. It shall not operate in our families. It shall not operate in my family. I want you to pray. I bind the spirit of the Antichrist. It shall not operate in my family. It shall not operate in my home. I bind the spirit of the Antichrist. It shall not operate in my family. The spirit of rebellion shall not operate in my family. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of the Antichrist, I cast you out. I cast you out. I cast you out. I cast you out from my children's lives. I cast you out. I cast you out. Spirits of rebellion, I cast you out from my family from my children, from my grandchildren, from my home, from my marriage. Straight of the Antichrist in my workplace. I cast you out. I cast you out. I cast you out in the mighty name of Jesus. In my children's school, in the education, I bind the spirit of the Antichrist from afflicting them in Jesus' name. In the university, in the workplaces, I bind the spirit of the Antichrist. Wherever your children are right now, we take authority and we plead the blood of Jesus against the spirit of the Antichrist. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus against the spirit of the Antichrist. You will not operate in my children or grandchildren. You will not operate in my life. You will not operate in my home and my family. You will not operate anywhere near me, near my family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, almighty God. We bless you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praying parents, may the Lord bless you. I want you to pray this prayer often. It might seem like uh, it's nothing, but it's, it's a big prayer. Yeah, to pray against sin. To pray against sin in the family. We want to pray that the Holy Spirit will convict us, convict our children so that we can walk in righteousness. So that our children can walk in righteousness and holiness. So we must pray against sin. We must pray against the Antichrist spirit. We must pray against rebellion because rebellion is the spirit of witchcraft. Praise the Lord. Amen. So Father, we just thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We magnify your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. May the Lord continue to bless you. For those of you listening to us online, may the Lord continue to bless you and increase you in Jesus' name. You're going to see something. As you pray this prayer, you will see that your children will change because the Holy Spirit will convict them if they're not walking in alignment with the will of God. The Holy Spirit will bring them back into righteousness or any member of your family for that matter. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Keep praying and don't stop. Keep praising and don't stop. Keep thanking God and don't ever stop. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. We shall meet online tonight 9pm UK time. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.